What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different and talk to you guys. I've been looking at my video game collection for quite a while over the last couple weeks and reminiscing. I have a lot of good feelings about my collection and then there's a lot of games that I don't, don't feel quite as good about. I do have what I call video game regret and that is when you buy a game based on hype alone and then the game turns out to be shit and I'm sure a lot of you guys have experienced that uh, and I think that probably one of the games that a lot of people feel that way about is Watch Dogs. Right now I do own Watch Dogs. I have it on PS3. It was gifted to me by a friend and uh, I played the game probably two, two and a half hours out of the entire time I've had the game. I had it for three weeks. I played it for probably two hours and what I got out of it so far was uh, it's very similar to GTA. It has different uh, story mechanic and it has a very different play mechanic but I just don't feel like it warrants the hype, the hype train that was pushing the game. And uh, I think a lot of people probably feel that way now. So that's my, my prediction. But this is my own personal list of games that I've actually spent money on. I paid for myself and I feel regret over. And it's a random list. And I'm sure that there will be a lot of games that I don't mention. Let me know what your regrets are at the end of the video. The first, ga the first game on my list is Untold Legends Dark Kingdom for the PS3. This game was one of the early PS3 games that came out. And if you guys know anything about Untold Legends, you remember it came out for the PSP originally and it was a top-down RPG and uh, like Champions, Champions of Nora type of game and I felt great having that in the palm of my hand. It was an amazing experience on the PSP so I thought that I'd get more of that with the uh, Dark Kingdom version of the game for the PS3 and let me tell you they dropped the ball big time. The game had nothing to do uh, with the uh, PSP version. It had very little uh, RPG mechanics. It had clunky controls. It had a terrible storyline and it fell flat and I wasted my money. I bought it the day it came out and I felt like an idiot <laughs> the very next day. I didn't take it back because I collect games and that's one bad thing about me. I collect games so I never get rid of them. Next game on my list is a gift. It was a gift from my wife when she first met me because, you know, I'm a gamer. So you meet a gamer, what do you do? You buy him a game. She bought me Devil May Cry 4 for the PS3. And uh, I'm a big Devil May Cry fan. I hated Devil May Cry 2, but 1 and 3 were amazing. And uh, Devil May Cry 4, I was thinking, hey, this is going to be on PS3. It's going to be just as awesome as the others. And it didn't. It sucked. Uh, the, 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 the control was good. I got to say that. The graphics were decent. But the reason that this game for me fell flat and I regretted it was they moved away from the original potential. Protagonist. They moved away from Dante and introduced this clown Nero who looks exactly like Dante but has this long elastic arm that can reach out and he can hang and to me the story fell flat uh, you had to you ended up fighting Dante all kinds of crap happened during this game and I regretted the experience I, I beat it and I just felt unfulfilled it just felt like a crappy game at the end of the whole experience and uh, that's how I felt about Devil May Cry another game that I bought I'm looking at right now is Shaq Fu. Shaq Fu came out on uh, I, I don't know what generation Super Nintendo Sega Genesis and I had it on both I had it uh, I got it on Sega Genesis uh, when I bought a lot of games and I bought it on Super Nintendo when it first came out so I didn't buy the Sega version but I bought the Super Nintendo version of the game and let me tell you it's absolute shit uh, Shaq Fu involves Shaquille O'Neal, the basketball player, walking into a martial arts dojo, a karate school, and he falls into an alternate dimension. And in this alternate dimension, he has to save this boy from a mummy. That's right. And that's what Shaq Fu is all about. So if, if that story sounds like one you want to experience, you need to go out and pick up Shaq Fu today. And Shaq Fu is actually in talks or it being remade. They're making it again. So get ready for more of that. Amazing stuff. The next game on my list is Walking Dead Survival Instinct. And I'm talking kind of fast because I got a time limit. I'm doing this all in this video. The Walking Dead Survival Instinct came out, uh, I think, in 2012. And I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead. I love the comic books more than I do the TV show. But the TV show is pretty good, too. And so uh, when Telltale's game started coming out, I was in love with that. And I figured, damn it, they're making another Walking Dead game. I got to get it. It's going to be a first person. Oh, man, I got to have it. You get to play as Daryl? Yeah, I'm in. The game came out and it was absolute crap. The the character models look just generic as hell, like someone took a sticker with someone's face on it and stuck it on it. Uh, the the enemies are ridiculously slow and they they have no intelligence. I mean, they act like they really are dead. Uh, the hit detection is terrible in the game. The melee is terrible and the story is crap. Uh, and, and so if you bought that game like me just on the premise alone that it's a Walking Dead game, it'll be good. I feel sorry for you because I feel sorry for myself. Next game on my list. 
Aladdin for Super Nintendo. And the reason that this is on my list, not that this game is a bad game, it's because the Sega Genesis version came out. And uh, at the time, I was a big Super Nintendo fan. And then when I saw the Sega Genesis version, I felt duped. Sega, I don't know what they did. They probably did satanic incantations over their games. Uh, Disney did. Because every Disney game that came out on Sega, Sega Genesis was amazing. Quackshot, Aladdin. And they all destroyed the Super Nintendo versions. And that's the only reason that I have regret for buying the Super Nintendo version of Aladdin. Next game, Resident Evil 6 for PS3. Kate and I, we beat Resident Evil 5 at least 40 times, and we loved that game, the experience, and we figured, hey, look, we saw the early uh, trailers of Resident Evil 6, Leon's Ke Leon Kennedy's campaign, we were like, we're going to play this game, it looks awesome, it's going to be scary, it's going to go back to the original way Resident Evil was supposed to be. We got into this game, we beat the first two campaigns, we beat Leon's and Chris's, and by the time that we realized the game had lost its identity and had no idea what it wanted to be, it's like, it felt like turkey. If turkey wants to be ham, turkey wants to be bacon, just be yourself. And, and Resident Evil didn't want to be itself, it wanted to be Call of Duty, Battlefield, it wanted to be, you know, action, extravaganza, and it lost itself, and it lost me as a, as a, a long-time loving fan of Resident Evil. R.I.P. Resident Evil. Next game on my list, Killzone Shadowfall. Ta-da! PS4 game. Killzone Shadowfall is a beautiful game, and it's a PlayStation 4 showpiece. When people saw this game initially with the PS4 release, it was a no-brainer as a game you had to have. But the thing is, we did not experience the game. We didn't know anything about it. We didn't know the way it played. We didn't know if it had character development. We didn't know if it had an engaging story. And the two ladders absolutely are lacking in this game. It does have a decent multiplayer. But if you're going to play the game and you want to know about your character and care about your character, it's not going to happen. And so it was a regret for me. Now that I look at the game, I never even put it in my PS4 anymore. Who wouldn't regret that? Killzone Shadowfall, piece of crap. And I want to go back in time. And I want to do a two for one here. <laughs> Atari made these games. Enter the Matrix for PS2 and The Matrix Path of Nier. I'm a huge Matrix fan, so I bought these games. And Enter the Matrix, I thought, was going to actually be pretty good because, you know, the Wachowski brothers were talking about it all the time and how it was going to be integrated into the movie and all this stuff. But the game ended up being absolute horse manure, and I did not like it. And I feel like even all these years later, looking at it in my uh, game collection, I feel duped because I bought it bit just based on the video game to movie premise that it was going to be connected and it was going to be awesome and it was going to be like the movie and it just fell flat and the path of neo what can i say more of the same uh i felt like the path of neo had terrible controls the graphics were terrible the story was crap and you didn't really feel like neo you just felt like a guy with just slightly enhanced abilities and it just uh, fell flat for me and so atari uh you guys can eat a grenade and and die unless you've already done that and the last game I'm going to talk about on this list is Superman 64. I bought this game when I was a kid. It came out on the Nintendo 64. My brother and I, we had high hopes to play it and enjoy it and have that sense that, hey, we're the Man of Steel. But we got completely duped. Uh, we felt like the video game developer took a huge crap on everybody who bought this game. Uh, the control scheme was terrible. You, The, the story was terrible. Uh, you didn't have a sense of Superman, you couldn't fly anywhere, the controls, you could just constantly flying through hoops, uh, and the game sucked ass worse than probably any game I've ever played in my life. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below, what games do you regret purchasing? What game did you buy as a kid or have you bought recently that you felt like you wasted your money, or even worse, wasted your time? Let me know down below, be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.